Sir, I... I... There are some dangerous things in here, so don't come in without asking, okay? I, I didn't come in of my own accord. The doctor... That's right. I asked her to. You did? Indeed. I am truly sorry. I completely forgot I'd asked her to get something and locked her in and walked off. You locked the door as soon as I walked in here. Who are you, Clive Waring? I don't know who that is. Is that it? Well then. This whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor... Oh, that was you. But the doctor said it was an accident. I think it might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year, Hanazawa. It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all this happened. Well, then, I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career plan survey tomorrow, so don't forget the printout from earlier today. He just saved our butts. Mm-hmm. Anazawa is a very honest and nice girl, isn't she? Though she is a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye. Doctor? Yes? That was a little sloppy. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. Just kidding. Oh, is he just his best? Accidents like that happen to everyone, and you remember to come let her out in the end. Don't worry about it. Y yes. Thank you, Professor. He knows. He knows something's up, and he's messing with a doctor. Mm-hmm. We get our finals back today. Doing midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Anazawa. Sir. You ranked top of the year this time. Well done. Ha. Uh, what? <laughs> she beat you by two points, Shiragane. Oh well. <sighs> Saki's glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. It looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm, and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. It must be nice to have a warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet to go home. Larry? Huh? Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Idiota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh! Well, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like the one for... Fulfillment at school, art, or conquest. Ooh, school, because we math students. Yeah, math students. Here you go. Thanks, Yota. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day's always busy. Oh well. I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Larry. Maybe some other time? 
since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. I'll see you then, Rota. Ryota? Rota? Hmm. Mr. Maniki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Hanazawa. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Mm, what should I take? Uh, this one. Osechi Blessing. Good. You got a better one than I did. This will be a good year for you, Hanazawa. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. <laughs> You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up! No! Oh. Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Third term. Ooh. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Oh, tomorrow's Legumentines. Legumentines? Yeah. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, beans. Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy that you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Oh, this is, uh, clerk. Uh, good evening. You here for beans? Here for beans? Here for beans? Yes, is there a kind that you think is particularly good? Well, this year's trend is towards the bean medleys for racers. But they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the burden question, really. Mm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy. Alright, we got calm corn, bitter black beans, country millet, swollen hemp, and racing blend. I think Racing Blend would be a uh, Okosan thing. Yeah. It's also very, ex it's most of the most expensive one, so it'd probably also be good for Sakuya. I can't tell if he would want Calm Corn or Bitter Black Beans. Or maybe Country Millet? None of these really jump out at me as good options. Let's just do Country Millet. It's middle of the road. Sounds good to me. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you go. Here's your beans. Today is the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Sir, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Hanazawa. What is it? Um, well, today's Legumentines, so I wanted to give you beans. <laughs> beans. Beans. You want to give them to me? Are you sure that's okay? You don't have someone else? No, sir. I want to give them to you, sir. I don't know what I kinds don't... of... Oh. It's me! I don't know what kinds of things you like to eat, so I wasn't sure which to get, but... Ah, millet seeds. I like them very much. I've enjoyed them for a long time. They bring back good memories. Such a nice, gentle smell. <laughs> and they put you to sleep. <laughs> Sir, they do smell nice, but please don't fall asleep. Oh, man, I fall asleep however much I want. Oh, um, are you really sure you want to give these to me? Yes, sir. 
A hunter-gatherer never goes back on her word. Thank you, then. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what I should give you in exchange. Just your heart, sir. <laughs> give me your plumage. It. Give me your plumage. And so all we of your feathers. I want all of your feathers. I want to make a pillow. Right. Uh, so he wandered off towards the staff room, a gentle smile on his face. I'm glad that he liked them. The semester's almost over. In a few short days, I will no longer be a sophomore. But there's one thing that I have left to do first. One thing I need to do. We're going to confess our feelings. Oh, Hanazawa, what is it? Asking to meet outside is a little odd. If it's about your career plan, don't worry, you're still a sophomore. You have to just, you don't have to decide for a few months yet. No, sir. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, well, please do. Sir, I like you. Is that is that all right? No, not at all. It's actually disgusting. Get out of my face. <laughs> Just absolutely out of here with that. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. You are an ape with no hair. You can't even be a proper monkey. You do say the strangest things, Hanazawa. I like you too. You're kind. You're smart. You work hard. You're an ape. Well, I didn't mean it like that. Hmm. Listen, I'm no longer able to love another creature. It's not your fault, Hanazawa. I'm sorry. No longer to able, to, no longer able to love another creature. What does he mean? He got his heart broke. You saw it, remember? Saw so what, sir? The photo. Oh yes, sir. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I knew you wouldn't lie. I suppose I should tell you. That was a photo of the most important bird in my life. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to come in between. I thought we could live through anything. Just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than anybody else in this world. But, but one day I looked around, I was alone. Life changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. I can never forget. Never forget our life, our promises. But I'm not sure how to say this. As, a photo, as I looked at the photo every day, I realized I couldn't tell anymore. I couldn't tell I, if I felt love when I saw that face, or if... if I felt hatred. I... I think losing someone dear is painful for everyone. After a while, I... I couldn't stand to see it anymore. So you... That's right. But even as I tried to forget, some part of me didn't want to. You see now, right? Why I don't want to love again. By now the love I felt has soured into resentment. Rather than forcing all that hatred onto one person, I... I think it's better to love everyone around you just enough that you won't regret losing them. That's... that's too sad. You don't agree, Hanazawa? I love your kindness, sir. But when I see that kindness bringing you pain, I have to wonder if there isn't a better way. Ah, I wonder. By the way... 
There's one more thing I should tell you. Hmm? That photo. It's gone now. You burned it. Yeah? When you saw it, it made me think about things again. I never would have shown it to anyone, so I was rather shaken. We both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and neither of us would have, want, would have wanted the other to mourn. So as I looked at the photo, I thought it was better. Better to put it away. So I burned it. Sort of as an apology for defacing it like that. I should remember the beautiful face I knew, not a photo covered in scribbles. Oh. And as I were, just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. That doesn't have anything to do with it. But I understand that you don't want to forget her, sir. I have an idea, Nanazawa. I'll be waiting here at this school forever. If after you've grown up a little, you still feel the same way, I'll be here for you. Sir, that's... I don't like to make idle promises, but... I'm sure you'll grow up into a wonderful person, Hanazawa. Oh, so let's wait until then. Yes, sir. Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here. That will be another story. I don't know what he will say to me on that day. I don't know what I'll feel, or what he'll feel. But right now, I'm truly happy. Is that the end of the route? Yeah. He just tells us to 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 kick rocks and come back later. Yep. Oh, my heart. I know. You'd be surprised at how many times that kind of thing happens in games like this. Uh, yeah, I'm not really much of an automate player, so that makes some sense. Mm-hmm. What may come? So what did you think of Neneki? I wanted to see more. I mean, I, A, it was just a short route, but also, like... Well, they're all kind of short routes, because there's a lot of characters to get through. Gotcha. I think there's, like, nine of them or something. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. There's, there's a lot going on, you know? I thought it was fun. Well, maybe I'll get you to come back for another route sometime. Maybe. It'll be fun. All right. Well, um, thank you for playing with me. Hmm. I had a good Glad time. Glad to be here. <laughs> Got to uh, bust out my my British accent. Plus your weird job of the hut thing. Yeah, I really thought there would be a next episode for me to fix the voice, but uh, <laughs> I did not realize how short the route was. Yeah, no. Honestly, this one didn't last very long. I got more episodes out of some of the other ones than I did with this one. Oops. But that's okay. No, that's fine. You just gotta make them shorter episodes, like five minutes. No, I'm not doing that. Really pad it out. No. It's good. Or not. Exactly. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for playing with me. Um, everybody knows who you are. You're a frequenter on my channel. This is really the Ooh. only place where people can find you. This is my channel now. <laughs> yes, you've taken over. It's the first show. I have purchased a 50% stake in Farty's <laughs> channel. All right, well, you got to put in some work then, bud. I paid $5. Woo! <laughs> All right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, happy Easter, by the way. 
Um, oh, yeah. It is Easter today, so I hope... Um, I hope the Easter bunny, chicken, partridge, whatever, uh, left you some nice chocolate. Um, Does it differ? I thought it was just the bunny. Where's this partridge... Pigeon well, I mean, you know, it's eggs. It's chocolate eggs. It's coming from some kind of a bird, right? I guess there's got to be a bird in the process. Unless yeah. you really I just want always, to eat rabbit poo. I always just figured that the the Easter rabbit had like a chicken coop or something. Well, that's what I'm saying. But He's I mean, a hobby like the farmer. eggs are really small usually, right? So I mean, maybe it's like a quail. Maybe. Could be like an Easter quail. To be fair, there's also pretty normal sized eggs. There's some. Maybe he's got like a whole thing why don't you guys tell me about your weird easter conspiracy yeah. theories in the either comments your theories below. or if you've got if if you're not american and you've got different or even if you are american and you've if got you're not from north america no even if you are and you've just got like interesting easter traditions tell us about them because yeah i want to know we we're interested in that kind of stuff anyways thanks for watching bye everybody bye everybody